Good morning, everybody. These messages are for Aquarius, March 2021. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are an Aquarius, you know an Aquarius, you want to identify as Aquarius, welcome. You are welcome here. Um, all Aquariuses are welcome. So you guys know how energy works. This could be about you or someone you know. This could be about a situation you have gone through or going through or will go through. Sometimes uh, you can, a reading may not resonate right now, but in a year it could. So just always try to keep an open mind and let's see where we go. I want to see where you guys are this week. I'm going to do a basic nine card Celtic spread this week uh, for you guys. And I feel like that's pretty good. I'm getting hot. Aquarius, are you hot? I don't know. As soon as I, I, I wanted, um, I was meditating on your energy, getting into it. My, I was just getting so hot. What is that about? What is that? Now I feel like I got to shuffle more time because I saw those cards. Uh, yes, I'm like that crazy bingo lady. Remember those in the 80s? A lot of you guys are probably too young for that. But they have all their little like superstitious things. If I saw the cards, I feel like, like I jinxed it. And sometimes when they fly out, it's meant to fly out. But I didn't feel like that one was. But okay, okay. Nope, you have to stay in. You guys are wanting to talk today, Aquarius. What's going on? I feel like that's pretty good. What is the present energy for the Aquarians? Beautiful, lovely Aquarians. Nine of Swords Reverse. That is great energy to be in. Getting over something, are you? Something kept you up all night? Um, a situation, a job, some stress. Getting a lot of family, maybe. Kept, just family matters. Kept you up, worried. But those... That's in the past. But what's challenging that right now? What is challenging it? Five of Cups. You know, when I was shuffling, this came out with your card, the star card, ironically enough. But the Five of Cups. Maybe what's challenging it, your Nine of Swords is an energy you want to get into. And maybe, so, you know, and also how, this is how I'm seeing it right now. And we got a lot more cards to go. How I'm just seeing these two cards is maybe some days you feel like you're healed and then some other days you're feeling a bit, not regret, but just sadness how something worked out. Uh, the Five of Cups is, is sadness. I mean, there's still two cups behind him. He's walking away from the two cups. There's still love there, but it's it could have been toxic. It just, it just could have been a situation not right for you. If it was a job, maybe you loved the job, but it couldn't work with the people. If it was a relationship, there was probably love, but it was just incompatible. Not healthy for you to be in. Okay, what's the reason for the reading, gang? Why are we all here today? What is it? Nine of Cups. Awesome. Maybe that's what's bringing you out of this Nine of Swords energy. It's a new, a new beginning. A new that I wanted to say new beginning, even though it's not like an Ace of Cups or Ace of Pentacles or Ace of Wands, but there's something you are moving towards. Or someone's moving towards you, Aquarius. Something is making you smile. Bringing the sun back into your life. Okay, recent past. What, what is the recent past? Oh, I love that. You guys are healing or healed. I really feel like Eight of Swords reversed. You're getting out of your own mental torture. Look at that. A reading that is... You can tell a lot on these Celtic crosses. I read a lot of tarot books. I really do. And there's... um. I want to say it's in this book. I'm starting to get off track, guys. This is actually a really good book by Dusty White. Advanced Tarot Secrets. Sorry, there's Harry, my dog. Harry, my dog, the Capricorn, wanting to get into our reading. But in there, it was saying that a really cohesive reading is when you have in a Celtic cross a linear going from left to right. It will tell a story in its own. It's like extra clarification. And we got the, the past and the present already lining up. So it really does look like this. It looks like Eight of Swords reverse getting out of your own mental torture. Maybe some moments you have that Five of Cups again. Then you got the Nine of Swords reverse. That's just how healing goes. You're in it. You're out of it. You're in it. You're out of it. Okay, what's on your mind, Aquarius? Now that we can come back into the reading, what is on your mind? What is it? What is it? Ten of Wands reverse. This is a great reading. This is. You're laying down the burdens. You are laying down the burdens of the past. You realize you don't need to be carrying somebody else's wands anymore. That's what I'm feeling with that card. You are going to pick up an ace of wands and start your own beginning somewhere else. 
So near future, what do we have for the Aquarians? Near future, magician reversed. This, I, if, I'm a, the, I can't even talk. <laughs> the magician, like any tarot card in reverse, like any tarot card, depending on what it's next to or how you're feeling, how the reader's feeling, can mean a lot of different things. This could definitely be in a love reading next to like a Knight of Cups reverse character could be a manipulator. But I'm not seeing that so far. What I'm seeing is there is in the near future, there is something you want to create. This is creation. This is manifestation. There is something you want to do, but you're just not having the confidence that you can do it. That's what all that means. But we'll clarify. We will. What, what's on your mind? Not what's on your mind. That's up there. How do you see yourself, Aquarius? How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? Oh, Queen of Wands. That's a good way to see yourself. Attractive, powerful. You are creating your own life with this. You have you have the power to create your own life. The magician's here. Now I'm going to flip him because he's the magician and he can go any direction he wants. You have the crowd, the power. <laughs> what is going on with me today? You have the power to create your own destiny. That's what I'm getting with this. He's just reversed because you have to see it. You have to see it. This, the guide, your spirit gods, your spirit gods, your spirit guides, whoever, whoever you relate to, whoever you identify with, they're asking you to see this or you, or you will see it. Something will come about, but we will, we will move on. We will clarify that later. What is the energy coming towards you that you don't see coming? It could also be energy of people around you, or it could be energy towards you. It all depends. Four of Cups, apathy. This could be you right now, and maybe it kind of goes very well. Again, like I was telling you, like when a, um, in the center of a Celtic, when it goes linear, this goes very, very well together, actually, because you have healing, not feeling healed, healing, feeling like you can't do it, and then you have this apathy where you're just in this uh, emotional neutral kind of place. There's something you want. You're just not quite sure if you can do it, if it's the time to do it. Do I have the funds to do it? What ifs, what ifs, what ifs? And that's probably what kept you up all night with the Nine of Swords. But Aquarius, you're laying down those burdens. You are laying down those burdens, Miss, Miss or Mr. Aquarius, Aquarians. Okay, what's in your emotions? Let me make some room here. What's in your emotions? What is in your emotions, guys? What is it? Six of Cups reversed. Thinking of the past. That is why you're in that Five of Cups energy challenging you. This is negative thoughts of the past. It could, it's whatever kept you up all night, whatever had you in your mental prison. You, you just energetically, you know, probably at 3 a.m., find yourself thinking out of the blue of that past situation and what you went through. And it's normal. It's part of the healing process. Ebbs and flows with healing. What is the outcome for the Aquarians? What is it? <gasps> Ace of Wands. Did I not say that? Did, and look at this, guys. It is, and I'm a big, I'm really big into symmetry. It's right next to the Ten of Wands reverse. When I was talking about the Ten of Wands laying the burden down, you're laying down somebody's burdens and you're going to pick up your own stick. What do we have next to the Ten of Wands reversed? The Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh, how, how do you not love tarot? Tarot is so amazing how this works. This is, you guys, you guys, there's a, a path you are ready to go for. You just gotta flip that magician upright, upside, upright side, upside right, you know what I mean. When he, when he flips over, it's go time. It is close. The four of cups, you are contemplating. To me, even though that's not a manifestation card, the energy coming towards you is just, you are just trying to, things are settling. It's like a snow globe when you shake it and then you stop and everything settles. That's where, that's where I'm feeling this reading right now. But your life is about ready to be shaken up. That's what I'm getting. Let's clarify, guys. What do we have here for the Nine of Swords reverse and the Five of Cups? What do we have for our lovely Aquarians? Nine of Swords reverse and the Five of Cups. What is it? What is it? Nine of Swords reverse. What is it? The moon reverse. This can mean a lot of different things. With this card is you have fear. You probably, you guys, honestly, I'm feeling 
dark night of the soul. You probably were in that for quite some time. Um, something had you not really knowing the way. Maybe if it was a relationship, they played a lot of mind games and head games and had you confused half the time. You didn't even know who you were. You, you got lost with this eight of swords in the past. You got lost in your own mental confusion. And you probably didn't know if you put yourself there or they put yourself put you there. But this is coming out of it. This is the light has been turned on. That's what I'm feeling with this. But because of the moon, it's like some days you have good days and some days it may not be good days or it may not even be whole days. I'm really feeling like this is so past and you guys been healing for so long that if if you if you are in this past energy, it's probably fleeting. I wouldn't even give it a day. It's just probably fleeting thoughts. Which, especially with the Six of Cups reversed up here. Okay, what is this Knight of Cups? This is what I want to know about. The reason for the reading. Is there a new love in your life, Aquarius? Is there something you're not saying? Is there something you're keeping to yourself? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Speaking of keeping things to themselves. Queen of Pentacles upright is takes care of everybody else. The Queen of Pentacles reverse, how I'm feeling it with this card, she's taking care of herself. I think you're finally taking care of yourself. You were probably, Queen of Pentacles reverse is that kind of messy, energy, disheveled, unorganized. And maybe this is why you're focusing on yourself. Because you realize you've been putting energy into somebody else's life, making their life better. It's time to focus on you. And maybe with this Knight of Cups, it, it could be new love coming into your life, most definitely. And you're now focusing on your own path. It's, it's whatever this is, whatever this Knight of Cups is, if it's job, if it's, if it's just the energy, if it's a possibility, it's making you look at yourself and saying, I, not that I don't like where I was, I don't like how I felt. I don't like whatever this was, how it made me feel. And you're changing. You, you're you changing you for you. You're going to put yourself on a new path here. And many of you already are on that path. Because look at that, the Six of Swords. There you are. There you are, Aquarius. You're in your reading and you're moving on with that Knight of Cups. Maybe somebody's helping you move on. Maybe somebody's watching you and... I don't know. You know what? I don't get that. I don't get that somebody's watching you. I really feel like this is you. Either this is you're focusing and maybe you're starting a new relationship, but it, it could just be the possibility of something, really. Because look at that one of the fly out page of cups. Something new, really. I, I keep saying that, but I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> it's like the page of cups, he's the dreamer. He's just like, ha, oh, you know, like anything is possible. And I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you. It's like a new day, Aquarius. You guys are, that's what, look at even the sun on Ace of Wands. It's a new day. You were in the moon. You were in the dark. And it's like somebody turned that light on and just said, welcome to your life. That's what I'm feeling. Eight of Swords reversed in the past. Why is that here? Four of Cups reversed. Look at, again, symmetry. If this was, if I was like, like spot on with a ruler and made these lines, this would be actually lined up. Four of Cups reverse. Over here is the Four of Cups. In your past, in the past position, you're healing. You are getting out of this apathy, out of this emotional neutral, and you are starting to put into action. So let's see. Ten of Wands reverse, which caused you to lay down the burdens. Getting out of your mental torture caused you to lay down the burdens, which now is putting you in manifestation mode. You are in the manifestation mode, but you haven't manifested it yet. You, part of manifesting is believing. You have to believe. It's not just thoughts. You have to believe what you can achieve, that you can achieve it, but first you have to believe it. And that's what it's saying. Believe in yourself. But the good thing is you lay down the burdens of the past. Strength. Yeah. You're not holding back. You're not holding up those wands anymore. You're not holding back from your own life anymore. You're, it's just you're, you're, you let it go. You let that shit go is what that is. Look at that king. You know what's funny? That king of pentacles was like this, reversed. I was going to flip him, which would have been like that, which would have been awfully silly to do that on a reading. So I think he needed to come out. This is what, what are you letting go, Aquarius? What did you drop? Probably a lot of dead weight. King of pentacles, reverse. A selfish energy. Somebody who was in your life that was take, 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 take. If they texted you, it was about what they needed. 
if they called you is where are you I'm hungry I need I need you to do this I need you to pick up this if it was a boss it was just they would call at all hours of the night it's like no peace that's what I'm getting with that you had no peace nope why explain this magician reverse to me in the near future I am curious about that what is that what is that Virgo Gemini energy about what is it yeah Knight of Cups reversed you got the Knight of Cups up right down here in the near future what did I say oh my gosh I said the if you take the magician reverse and you put it with a Knight of Cups reverse yeah you got you got a shady character and look in the near future so maybe this isn't you guys it could be part you but it could be whatever you were went through is coming back for uh maybe round 11. um knight of cups reverse is a player no doubt emotionally unavailable someone you thought you can like get on that horse with and go into the sunset and then you find out there's like five other people on the back of that horse and the magician and you got the moon here right next to it like i said that linear line the magician energy reversed is he played tricks with your mind. He made you believe in a future that wasn't real. All because of his, for his own enjoyment with the king of pentacles. Someone who took enjoyment at your benefit. And that's what you've been healing from. And so if it's in the near future, beware that this person, this, this character um, is going to make a return. It may not be, and it, it could be the same person or it could be that same type of person. And that's the universe testing you to see, did you really lay down those burdens? Or, or you, are you just hiding them? Are you hoard, hoarding those burdens? And you know what, guys? Look what flew out. What did I just say? This just literally flew out of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like that needed to go there. It needed to go there or over here. It's like, what cycle? What cycle do you want to see yourself in? Do you want to do another cycle with the Magician Reverse and the Knight of Cups Reverse? Or do you want a cycle of your own making with the Queen of Wands? Do you want your own future? Do you want your own path? Do you want to hold your own stick? This is, it's up to you. Nobody can, nobody can make a future that you want but you. It's, yesterday is gone. You know, you live in today and you plan for, you know, what's tomorrow. And... You, it, it's just one foot in front of the other. You got to take put that one foot in the front front of the other uh, for that new beginning. It doesn't just happen. You wake up and it's like, oh, I have this brand new life. What did you do for that brand new life? Did you make any steps towards it? Or are you sitting in a recliner eating ding dongs? I mean, you got to, you have to like, you have to want it. The queen of wands wants it. She's got that passion. She's got that fire. She wants it. That's, that's what it's saying have some passion with your life and go towards it you could be scared and you could be shaking but you but you're moving you this is good for healing but the four of cups and that's why in the past it's reversed because you guys got up from that tree and you're moving elsewhere away from the situation towards your new towards your destiny really okay queen of wands why you see yourself why do you guys see yourself as the queen of wands holding a flower yeah, again, because you laid the burdens down. That followed. Look at that. Laid the burdens down. And you picked up your own stick. I love it. I love it. And again, look at that. Magician reverse. What did you lay down? Again, I asked that question there, and there you are. What did you lay down? You laid down trickery. That trickster kind of energy. That selfish, manipulator, liar, cheater. You name it. There he is. That energy. That energy is probably coming back, guys. Beware. It's probably coming back. And maybe that's what the four of cups is that you that energy coming towards you is you are gonna reject that cup. Magician reverse is saying, here's my cup, Aquarius. Look it, look, 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 look. I polished it just for you. I polished it. Don't you know he's trying to fool you, but you're you're not even looking. I mean, look at this guy. He's sleeping. That's how much he cares. That's how much he cares. I feel like that's going to be you guys when it comes back. You're it, what you know what this guy or gal, this energy made you see this person, this this person better than who they were. That was the that was the trick. You saw a possibility and you realized it was a curse. 
and now you see it and it's just not appealing anymore i think you've grown out of it to be honest you've grown out of that energy good for you good for you i love it so can i get a card on the four of cups now that i already ran my mouth <laughs> queen of swords yes yeah exactly that is why you're rejecting it you got some um self-esteem you got a long look in the mirror you saw how really how hot you are look at that queen of wands she's hot you saw how hot you are and realize what this this person's offering is just not your thing anymore and i will cut you you come any closer to me i will cut you i you probably already cut this person out of your life there is no doubt about that and so they're trying a, a new trick because in the motions look at the six of cups reversed you're thinking of this person, but you're not thinking positively, that's for sure. And there goes Harry again, the Capricorn, trying to get in on this reading. Okay, Six of Cups reversed. Why is it? Why is it? Yeah, Seven of Wands. This, you're, defending, you're defending your peace. You're defending your happiness. You're defending yourself from this. Clearly, you're defending yourself. And it's like, yeah, just try it. See this thing? I'm going to ram down your throat. Just try it. Try bringing that wand to me. Okay, in this little deck I got, has two cards special for this deck. If you look in the booklet, it has no name. I call it the happy family card. What are you defending? Your happy family. Some of you may have kids, maybe you're a single parent, and whatever this was, was um, an ex you had to kick out of your home, and you're defending, you're, you're protecting your children, you're protecting your legacy, you're protecting your peace, your four of wands, your happiness. You realize you had to get rid of that negative energy and to find a little peace. And that's what you're defending is your peace of mind, your happiness. Okay, Ace of Wands. Can we clarify the Ace of Wands here? What is that doing here for the Aquarius and the outcome? Which is a great outcome, really. That's a new, brand new beginning, passionate beginning. What is the Ace of Wands? Yeah, Five of Pentacles reversed. To get to this Ace of Wands, you had to know your value. This person made you feel like you weren't good enough. He put you out in the cold while you probably, I, I'm getting a strong feeling like maybe they flirted with others, put you in competitive situations. If it was a job, they, you know, it was all about your coworkers. No matter what you did, you just couldn't shine like the pentacles in the window. You can look at it, but they made you feel like you weren't part of that. You were looking, you were in the outside looking in. You're now on the inside looking out. You're, you, you realize your own worth. You realize your own worth and you're going to take that newfound confidence into your future. Can I get one more card on that? One more card on the Ace of Wands and the Five of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, look at that. You're working on something new. Eight of Pentacles. And it's tangible. It's solid. This isn't an idea. This is You're putting your ideas, whatever you had, into practicality. And with the Ace of Wands, it really seems like a new business. This is either you're going for a new position at work, a new project, maybe turning the hobby into income. There's just something you're doing that makes you feel good. It really makes you feel good because you went into the hangman mode. That Whatever this was put you in a hangman mode and you got some perspective on where you've been. You can't sit there and write off the past and say, I wish I didn't do it. No, because that past made you this. You can say, thank you for turning me into something greater than I was. Now get the hell out of my life. That's the hangman reverse. You, 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 and at the bottom of the deck, look at that. Yeah, you guys were probably in some type of cheap third-party relationship. And that's what you're letting go of. That three of pentacles reversed. And the nine of cups. This is a player. I mean, in this reading, this is, yes, a fulfilled happiness. This could even be what you're trying to achieve, you know. But what I'm saying with thinking with this is, this is a person that was out for their best interest, and that's what you're letting go of. A very selfish, um, alone energy. Maybe you felt like you, this was going to be like a husband material, a wife material, and they ended up, you find out that they had like about 12 other people. That's what you're letting go of. Because look at the death card, Scorpio is here. It's a new day, it's a rebirth, new beginnings. That's what this is. Knight of Pentacles, doing it slowly, methodically, but you're doing it right. You are. Okay, let's get an oracle card for you guys. I have this deck because it is a new moon on Saturday. Queen of the uh, Moon Oracle. I love it. It's so beautiful. So let's get a piece of advice for the week. 
Can I get an Oracle card for um, Aquarius? I wanted to say Sagittarius. That just, <laughs> then I had to realize, was I saying Sagittarius throughout this reading? Are you guys dealing with a Sagittarius? That fiery wand? Okay, focus, focus. Can I get an Oracle card for Aquarius? An Oracle card for Aquarius. March 2021, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Can I get an Oracle card for Sagittarius? See, Sagittarius again. Oh my gosh. Okay, can I get an Oracle card for Aquarius? Can I get an Oracle card for Aquarius? Can I get an Oracle card, please? Can I get an Oracle card for Aquarius? Can I get an Oracle card? Look at that, discernment. We know what that is. Look, we're going to read it anyway. Ten. You had a lot of tens of laying down the burden. You have to discern what is for you and what isn't for you. That is a beautiful card, though, isn't it? Look at that. The colors of that. That's like the universe. You, you, All the possibilities are in your head. But you have to go on a situation that it was for you and stop trying to make a situation right that wasn't for you, for you. I mean... I know, I just totally confused that one. It made sense in my head. If you were only in my head like the universe is in hers, you would have gotten that one. Okay, take care in your choices now. Look carefully and judge wisely. There may have been something difficult to see, something that has been obscured, but now it has been revealed to you. Examine it closely. When you get some years on you, hopefully the time you spend moving and choosing upon this earth brings you some kind of wisdom. Some of that wisdom will be bright of hindsight and perspective. All of us, if we are engaged in life, make good decisions and poor ones. Sometimes we make spectacularly bad ones. All of us get hurt, hurt others, learn, forget, fall over, fall over again, get up. But hopefully we grow, we change. We are able to spot where our sore points are and fix them if we so choose. If we are able to take a good long look at what it is, what is painfully recurring in our lives and deal with it, Yes, baby deal. That's why you got that Knight of Cups reverse coming back. It's going to come back to see if you dealt with it. The secret here is discernment, real discernment, really making it a priority to take time to ensure acuteness of judgment, really looking at the fine print before you buy. Instead of taking things on face value or rushing into surface judgments, take your sweet time to form friendships and business relationships. Put your energy output into perspective. Look at evidence instead of only just believing. Feel and act when you are being trodden upon or having your boundaries overstepped or when something doesn't quite feel kosher. Ask clarifying questions and really listen to the answers offered. Then act on the reality. That is growth. That is real pattern busting. That is the gathering of wisdom. No, waxing gibbous moons. This is the first of the waxing gibbous moons. The overall themes of this part of the moon cycle are action and will. So that really fit very well. It's discernment of what is no longer, what isn't meant for you. This was a lesson, guys. I mean, a lot of these kind of situations are lessons. They, you were meant to go through it. And that, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune shows that this was destiny. You were meant to go through this to turn you into this. But you just have to see it. You have to try to take the emotion out of it. And I know with the Six of Cups reverse, you guys are there sometimes. But you have to realize that, that this you got the most benefit than you could from the situation. There's no reason to go through it again. It's not going to do you any good. You have to discern what is for you and what isn't for you. And with this Ace of Wands, something tells me that you have found something that is for you. And you're leaving behind what isn't for you, which is the Knight of Cups reversed. So that is your reading, guys. Good luck. I hope you have a fantastic week and a lovely new moon, and I will see you next week. Take care.